And there's this beautiful woman arguing with the desk clerk. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that could be. <clears throat> Needless to say, I did not go. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> John, what was it like playing James Dodd in Time Stand Still here at Tate May Stage? First of all, I was, I was very happy to have James Dodd come into my world because I've been fortunate enough to play some emotionally damaged characters, but never quite as much as James Dodd. Well, you're a writer, and so is the character. Were there any parallels there? Yeah, there were parallels to, uh, to being a writer, but I think James Dodd is a much better writer than I am. <laughs> um, but I'm probably a better actor than he is. <laughs> I mean, he seems incapable of telling a lie. Mm -hmm. And uh, and an actor once told me, the actor Bo Hopkins told me that acting is nothing but lying through your freaking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like interacting with the cast off stage? We have not stopped through the course of the run talking about the play, talking about what we felt. How does it change? How does it morph? How does it evolve for every single one of us? Can we try this? You know, when you do that at that line, I wonder if we can find another something that's a little bit more important or has a little more of a point on it. And we do it virtually every night. We're all living together and uh, that helps us to be able to do it. But the fact that this cast has been so interested in mining every single available thing out of it has been wonderful for me. Well, the audiences in Cape May have embraced your performance as James Dodd in Time Stand Still. Uh, it's been an extraordinary experience for them. Uh, what's it been like for you? My experience has been extraordinary, and I would, I would do this again in a heartbeat. Thank you, John Lindstrom. What a pleasure, what a treat for us all at Cape May Stage. She's down. The eagle has landed. Uh. Whew. Well, that wasn't so bad there, was it?